module 10 utility theory and total utility to understand the utility theory we assume consumer is rational and whose objective is to maximize his satisfaction consumer always have a broad set of choices among which he has to allocate his limited income this broad set of choices can be categorized under the subheading of food items or non food items and similarly we can categorize these choices among goods and services for example if we make a discussion with reference to food items it might be possible it includes fruits vegetable meat and many other item items that are being consumed by a particular consumer to get satisfaction and when we make discussion with reference to non food items it includes clothes shoes and many other things that are other than food items similarly if we make make differentiation between goods and services goods are usually tangible items while services are intangible but these are the activities that are performed by someone else for the benefit of the consumer for example if a consumer is getting services of the barber barber is performing a task for the consumer similarly it might be possible someone get a services from a doctor to get the prescription to cure himself from different disease the thing that is important ki utility consumer always uses a good to get satisfaction and the consumption of goods and services is always provide certain level of the satisfaction and in in the words in the language of economics the word satisfaction the word utility is used for satisfaction and total utility is the total satisfaction that someone gets from the consumption of particular commodity for example if someone uses a glass of a milk he is getting certain level of satisfaction and if he uses two two glasses of milk again he will get a certain level of satisfaction and by and whenever we make the dis discussion about the measurement of the utility there are two types of the measurement one is one, one is carried out uh, carried out under cardinal approach and other one is under ordinal approach under cardinal approach we usually assign numbers to utility to satisfaction for example if someone uses apples it might be possible that we can say he is getting 20 units of utility classical economists or earlier researchers earlier economists used you may utils as a measure of the utility just like we use meter to measure the distance kgs to measure kilograms to measure the weight similarly to measure the utility earlier researchers used utils to measure the utility when we measure the utility numerically when then we say we are measuring the utility under cardinal approach and sometimes we use this utility we we rank the we rank the consumer on the basis of the utility that someone is getting against different combination of the commodities for example if someone is using one unit of apple and one unit of orange it might be possible we say consumer consumer says i am getting more satisfaction from the consumption of apples as compared to oranges so under ordinal approach we basically order the utility that we are getting from different combination of commodities and one thing that earlier researcher assumed earlier economist assumes the utility is independent from each other the utility that someone is getting from apples it does not depend upon the utility that he is getting from oranges but later researchers find out utility depends upon the quantity of other commodities too and so as utility of a consumer depends upon number of commodities so we usually consider a consumption bundle and the consumption bundle usually contains specific combination of different commodities for example it might be possible a consumer is getting consumption by using apples and oranges simultaneously so by combining the utility that someone is someone is getting from the consumption of apples and oranges it is the bundle against which a consumer is driving utility usually to measure the utility we use utility function utility function is an algebraic expression that assigns number to the consumption bundles it facilitates 
ranking of the consumption bundles if we use those numerical numbers as it is then we say we are making discussion about the utility under the framework of carnal utility but if we use those numbers to assign ranks to different levels of utility then we say we are using this utility function to assign ranks or orders to different to bundles that to different bundles of commodities for example in this case we are assuming the total utility of a consumer depends upon the quantity of apples and quantity of oranges and we are computing this total utility by multiplying quantity of apples with quantity of oranges for example if one, someone is using five apples and three oranges we can say he he got a total utility of 15 utils under car, cardinal approach and for example in the next table in this table we are reporting different bundles of two commodities and here bundles includes different combinations of apples and oranges for example consumption bundle a contains 3 units of apples and 10 units of oranges and total utility that the consumer is getting from this particular bundle of commodities is equal to 30 consumption bundle b contains 4 units of apples and 7 units of oranges again by multiplying apples with number of with the quantity of oranges we computed the total utility 28 if basically the total utility that if we are using these num numerics as it is then we say we are reporting utility under cartesian approach but if we use these number to make a comparison across bundles then we can say that okay, we are reporting utility under ordinal ordinal approach for example to make more clarif more clarification about the cardinal approach and ordinal approach suppose we assume another bundle having 3 units of apples and 5 units of oranges so by using 3 units of apples and 5 units of oranges consumer is getting a total utility is equal to 15 under cardinal approach if we make a comparison of this 15 units of total utility with bundle a we can say consumer is getting satisfaction 50% less than the satisfaction that he is getting against bundle a ke okay, under cardinal approach we can make a comparison about the numerics ke okay, to what extent utility increased from consumption bundle a but under ordinal approach we can use these numbers only to rank to assign ranks whether the consumption bundle having utility providing utility 15 is better than the consumption bundle that provides a utility is equal to 30 so a consumption bundle that provides utility is equal to 30 we can say that is a preferred bundle as compared to consumption bundle that provides a utility equal to 15 so here we are not in a position to say ke to what extent consumer is preferring a bundle over the other bundle consumer only make a preference ke consumption bundle having providing utility 15 is less preferred than the consumption bundle of con consumption bundle of commodity a that provides utility is equal to 30 so derivation of the satisfaction from the this derivation of the satisfaction from the consumption of goods and services is the basics of the consumer theory sometimes we make a transformation of our utility function and if we carry out a transformation of utility function in such a format the order of preferences of the consumer does not change that transformation of the utility function is called as monotonic transformation for example in this case we are measuring utility by multiplying quantity of apples with quantity of oranges suppose if a constant number 10 is added to this utility function again consumption bundle consumer getting a satisfaction against consumption bundle a is equal to 40 consumption against consumption bundle b he will he will get a satisfaction equal to 38 against consumption bundle c he will get a level of satisfaction is equal to 40 so by simply adding a constant number we indicated ke utility of the consumer increased with a constant rate and if we are using these numbers to measure the utility algebraically then this is cardinal utility and if we are using these numbers to 
order the different consumption bundles, then we are under ordinal utility. In this table, to understand the concept of the utility theory and total utility, in this table we are reporting quantity of oranges in the first column and total utility against the second column. For example, if someone is using zero units of the oranges, he is getting utility is equal to zero. Suppose zero util against one unit of oranges, consumer is getting a satisfaction equal to 20. And if consumer uses two units of oranges, then he get a satisfaction equal to 30. So up to unit 10, up to unit 11, we can see there is a consistent increase in total utility. But after unit 11, we see by using 12th unit of orange, there is a decrease in, in total utility. So this, whenever a consumer uses a commodity consistently, his total utility increases up to a certain level. But after reaching a maximum point, it starts decreasing. Same has been reported in this diagram. We are taking quantity of oranges on horizontal axis and quantity and utility on vertical axis. And by looking at the graph, we can see utility of the consumer is maximum when he is consuming 11 unit of oranges. But when his, he use, used 12th unit of orange, his utility decreased against 11, 11th unit is getting utility equal to 74. But against 12th unit, when he used 12th unit, his total utility becomes 70. 